Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just gonna show you what upgrades I have currently at the moment. Uh, once again, uh, regular Zealots with Whirlwind and Shield Regeneration. I'm not even gonna show that anymore. Like, well, I'm gonna show Artemis, briefly show you. You are more than welcome. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do with the Solar Core, though, is I have decided that I actually want construction time. Uh, as of that last one, and also Chrono Surge is the best for this one as well. You're gonna love that as well. So, reduce construction time and, uh... And, uh, and the Chrono Surge. Obi's core is making their way to Bennett Port with the artifact. We gotta stop them before they get away with it. And we also got Immortals this mission. Welcome to Bennett Port. At least what's left of it. Mobius cores entrench themselves here to keep us from the artifact. Valerian's setting up his base now. Once he gets... Ah! Raynor! What is happening? The hybrid are channeling void energy into the Keystone. The resulting psionic disruption has overwhelmed the Terrans. Deploy our immortals. We need heavy assault to protect these Terrans until the disruption subsides. That's two I owe you, Artanis. Felt like I was losing my damn mind. The Keystone is recharging, Commander. They will surely activate it again soon. We must reclaim it. You ain't kidding. Let's lock and load, partner. Alright, start off with some probes. We can't do Chrono's Herd until much later, so don't even worry about it. We can nice get here, too. Construct immortals from the robotics facility. They are quite effective at sieging enemies or defending our allies. Alright, first things first, we're gonna head out this way. Alright, my boys are taking this fight to Mobius Core. Once you've got your defenses in place, bring the heat. It is destined. Our Hierarch. Several of our Dominion research facilities are reporting that they are under attack. If you can rescue them, I'll return any Protoss technology they've collected to you. I may have neglected this that. This disruption has hit my forces hard. We've taken heavy casualties, and we're going to need more time to establish our fortifications. Do what you can to keep them at bay. Already on it. Your position will be secure till they fire off that Keystone again. We have liberated a Dominion facility. Oh, I can't believe we made it out alive. Some of our medics will stay behind in case you need them. Justice be done. Uh, okay, so generally on this mission, the strategy is to spam uh, tons and tons of immortals. Uh, and that's all we're going to be doing. Uh, we're also waiting for that Chrono Surge energy to get up, which is pretty soon. Uh, so... In fact, we should prepare for it by making two more pylons prematurely, because we're going to be using up a lot of uh, supply real fast. Um, and I got the construction decrease just because I, you know, I tried I tried it with supply, and I'm just like, I'll just make one more fucking pylons. You know. Uh, you know, I guess there, this might be a question, What? how do I have this as F1, F2, F3, F4? Uh, well, it will be F3 or 4. Well, I changed it because I play a lot of the co-op in this game. So, uh, you can actually edit that instead of it being a hero select thing, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm using Chrono Surge. Keystone is emitting powerful energies. I expect it will fire again soon. We want to not waste any of this. Okay. Now we're good. Alright. Uh, now the question is, can we build another one of, uh... We don't need any more probes, really. We're gonna have to head up here. Now, it appears to me like the hybrid kind of alternate between up and down. Uh, that's just kind of the way they work. Uh, so they're going after... Uh, they went after Valerian before, apparently, and now they're gonna... So you really only have to focus on one, and, you know, if you have the opportunity, maybe attack a bit while you're up there. Uh, the three that I have here should be enough, but I'm not too sure, actually, so maybe, maybe I should make another one. Oh, 
I mean, if you micro this right. I, I, I played extremely greedy with the fact that I, uh... Uh, there's only one here. That's right, we got to make more gateways. I also like to make a pylon in each of their bases, so, you know, just keep that in mind. We're also going to have the orbital strike for this next one, which could be really good. Uh, I, I sometimes use the orbital strike just to kind of soften them up a little bit. Like, here we go. We can do it, like, right in the center of them. If they move slightly, the minute I did that. I like their stutter stepping. That's why mortals are good. Uh, I should also be making a cyber next floor. And we need we need a second robotic spec. And also to get more Commander, gas. Our forces are ready. The Dominion is engaging Mobius Core. Here's our second. So we're running two expansions here. Uh, that's that's our general all-around strategy. And we're gonna have one more of these. They're going to occasionally attack and things like that. Uh, that's not really our concern right now. Our plan is to basically have such a strong economy that we're just going to just roll over them. Uh, so the first couple waves doesn't really matter. I mean, they can they can kind of handle themselves. Has turned their sights upon our nexus. Prepare for battle. All will worship or be forever silent. And there you go. Dealt with. <laughs> there, yeah, there's a raven that lived, but who cares? We're not going after 100% kills. I mean, I, you could get the stalkers out, but like, you will need the stalkers, but you don't need them right now. And notice how I have both of my nexuses kind of rallied to this guy right here, so we're pretty good here. And we can also start doing some shield upgrades, which would be extremely nice. Now, you can use the Chrono Surge again, but to be honest, I, we have two Nexuses kind of working on the same place, and by the time this is up, it's just not worth it. We're pretty good for money right now. Uh, what, are, what else are we going to do? So usually what I do is I make... Um, I do the good old... Uh, uh, six gateways and two robotic space, and I constantly have them producing shit. So now they're going to be making some things here. I'm making an extra pylon here. I'll make two actually. Trust me, this will be like once you have like all the money in the world, then like you're fine. And then I'm going to make a, just a bonus one as well. And let's also start chronoing that guy. And I guess I'll chrono this one. And we have these guys on a separate hockey. Hierarch, I'm detecting a significant energy spike. I expect the Keystone will emit another disruption Nova soon. There's another one. Oh yeah, we're also going to defend this with uh, cannons, but we're just kind of waiting for money to kind of come start rolling in. Now, they should be coming for the bottom one, Valerian. As I said, this is the pattern I noticed, is that they kind of go for the one. They just alternate, and that's it. Uh, and also, I should bring a probe totally down here to just make a pylon. The Keystone's disruption is also affecting the Mobius core. We should attack them once our allies are safe. I return to serve. Upgrade complete. Our, our good idea here is actually to focus fire. And potentially micro these back, but they may not want to. They don't always cooperate. Actually, they had a DA. Oh, uh, I lost one. And you know what? You can actually just go face into right, right them because they're they're like they're disabled as well. All right. When I have a second, I'm probably gonna mute these guys. There you go. Now they're mostly good. We're gonna focus them down because they're low. Uh, unfortunate. We have survived the hybrid's assault. Continue onward, warriors. I am the voice. Damn, that's one hell of a headache. Thanks for the help, Artanis. Uh, now we now we start working on I think cannons now. That would be pretty good. 
We don't need. Actually, this is this is a really shit formation. You know? I think we just need to be like a wall. We'll have like one, sh maybe two shield batteries, an additional cannon right there. All right. And we should make some zealots again. We're not staying with three this entire time, by the way. Just the magic number we picked for now. Oh, here we go. There's a lot of guys here. Dominion SCVs. Establish a fortification line here. Okay, he should be good for now. Uh, actually, maybe not, because they're setting in even more now. Uh, uh, we have more stalkers here, actually. So, uh, we're gonna fit. Oh, what the fuck? These guys completely stopped rallying, because the one they were right on dead. Okay, that's something you have to watch out for sometimes. Now, when you have, like, a ton of chrono energy and you need a lot of immortals, guess what? You can chrono boost it, but unfortunately, I fucked up, because I have to have construct additional uh, pylons. I was showing it as an example, but just don't do it like that, apparently. And we're gonna we're gonna chrono these guys now. All right, so now we're gonna just uh, kind of start clearing this guy, but not completely. We're not committing to this really. All right, always make sure you have lots of supply. Don't do it like that. Honestly, this mission's kind of easy, so it really doesn't matter if I did that anyways. You notice how many more immortals we're making, though. Uh, we're making a lot. And then it's just mostly stalkers to accompany it as well. Another disruption will occur soon. Remember, we can use this time to protect our allies from the hybrid or attack Mobius Core. So the nice thing about this, like, nice little choke point is that they'll always have to come through here. We're just going to wait a second for the disruption to start because they're going to come after Rainer next. We're also going to make a pylon over here. Uh, as I said, easy reinforcements. And now what we do is we kind of... Actually, he's decided to go down here this time. Okay. That's, uh... That's unexpected. He did that last time. I guess he just does the person that's in the front. I just assumed it was alternating. I need more pylons. Make uh, some more pylon farms. Whatever. No feng shui. I just like to kind of focus on that. Actually, we can just keep, we can just keep going. Take up these tanks. I'm gonna be making lots of stalkers now. Can't take up these guys. There you go, because it makes it super easy because they're uh, kind of in here. Good thing you've got our backs. Let's just make sure these guys keep coming. I really annoy by these guys. We need we just need stalkers at this point. I'm gonna make nothing but stalkers now. Oh, and I have more that didn't did decide not to join us. Oh, they have uh, tanks here. So he should kind of move up now and make a make a forward outpost, but who knows? Actually, no. He, I think I think this counts as being here. There we go. Marines, push the battle line forward. Where does he get the bottom one here?
Is there anything else here? Oh, there's a bunker here. Thank heavens. Almost everyone died. Just a few medevacs left. I'll send them to support the Emperor's forces. I mean, I'm hoping he has this one covered, but I'm not helping him. Fuck that. I gotta go help Rainer now, because Rainer has not moved up in the slightest. I don't, I don't blame him. Yeah. Oh, look, they're fucking not, like, joining up anymore. I am the voice of the Eclipse. Let our enemy know our fury. I keep getting rather unlucky with the one that dies. It's unfortunate that Immortals are kind of slow. Another disruption, Nova. The Terrans will be incapacitated while the disruption is active. Unseen. Might as well make some more dragoons. For your help. Our last science vessels are on their way to the front line. Emperor Valerian, we have secured all of the threatened facilities. I promise you, I won't forget this kindness, Hierarch. We have a lot of supply that we can make here, so we're just going to make a couple of these while we're not paying attention to our forces here. Oh, there's a big hybrid. Alright, and what we're going to do... Our enemies have ceased their assault. We must press on until we reach the Keystone. Oh, we got mental breakdown achievement. Nice. That would be the one I think where you kind of kill mo kill them while they're incapacitated. Oh, hell. This doesn't get any easier. Time to take them out. We've broken their defenses. Let's get some bunkers out there. Nice work. That area's secure. I'll set up some defenses. Uh, yeah. As you can tell, I'm kind of uh, tired of tanks. Tanks, but no tanks. Alright, I need to make uh, some forward pylons here. Yeah, because look at this. Look at our fucking stalker count. It's horrible. So, I mean, there's not much we could do besides remake them. And now you're going to say, oh, Mike, you should have that thing where I can just put in pylons. As I said, I'm not lazy. Like, I'm just going to fucking make them come in like that. Fine. We're pretty much winning this anyways. I said an argument can be made for both. I just like the Corona boost. We actually have mineral field depleted. Alright. Let's make one more group of these guys. Some more immortals. Alright, we can start heading up there now. We have enough stalkers. Let's just start. We need it for anti air. But because we have so much money, it literally doesn't matter. We're just replacing them as fast as we lose them. Alright, we can kind of head up here. Mineral field depleted. Significant energy spike. 
I expect the Keystone will emit another disruption nova soon. Ta-da! Winner's us. Well, that did it. We pushed Mobius core back. Damn. Look at this place. Even the Zerg didn't tear into the city like this. Did you know this warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not? I wonder what he has on his back. It's like a sled or something. You never know when you'll need it. Alright, here we go. I actually managed to get all the achievements in this one. Uh, ally structures lost three, so that means five was the limit. So I got that one. I killed more than 80. It was easy to do, so whatever. Nothing but death. They bring purpose 
An end to a cycle not within had chosen. Your resistance will only bring unneeded suffering. Separate from the Kala. Its light has faded. I will keep him at bay. I will endure. I have felt his rage, seen his truth. If you will not sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. Look here, Hierarch. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies, but that may not be its sole purpose. I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. Alright, uh... I guess we'll see the unallocated, uh, unallocated solarite. Uh, we can't actually do too much more with this. I mean, we can play around with the solar lance, maybe. Uh, but the thing is, if we do that, we have to give up the Chrono Surge, and I really like the Chrono Surge. But I think we may just fuck around with it, try it out. Um, you know, I guess just showing you guys what it does. It's, it's. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's not exactly the tank sniping thing that, that I like it to be. So, actually, to be honest, anytime I have unallocated points, I, I would say construction time is the best thing to put it into. Uh, but we got that one now. Alright, see War Council. Oh, we have a new assignment available here. Robotic assault units can now be added to our army hierarch. So we got damage barrier one. I return to serve. Creates a barrier absorbs a large amounts of incoming damage. It's the one we were using before. And then we also have Shadow Cannon. This one does heavy damage to grounded air units and deals bonus damage to armored units. So it's a question of do you want them to be tanky? Or do you want them to uh, just kind of deal... Uh, this is an ability, by the way. It deals 200 damage. So it's, it requires micro. To slightly. To be honest, the only time I... Like, they do a shit ton of damage anyways. Uh, they're not exactly anti-air, though. Which, I mean, you got stalkers for that, but... I, I, I don't... Serve. I don't really swing one way or the other. I don't. I don't think any one of them. It's. A, it just depends on what you want to do. Do you want them to be more defensive, or do you want them to be? I don't know. So I, I guess this is what it does. Improved barrier. I guess that's what we get. They're even more defensive. I think that's. I think that's what we got out of this. A hundred percent. I. As I said, I don't swing either way here. It's just both of them seem pretty good. Uh, it depends if you just want them to kill things in the air and shit. I don't know, we'll just, we'll try Shadow Cannon. You know what, we'll do Shadow Cannon, that's what we'll do. And we got another, uh, conversation here. Uh, hey there, your royal ness. Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no Protoss before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. Continue your report. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. 
Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? All right, I think we could just do the warp travel now. So we now have uh, Glacius. Zeratul, old friend. I have the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet, faith alone will not defeat Amon. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. We're gonna do Shakuras first, actually. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. The only reason I'm really doing this one is because, uh... I mean, it's possible that you chose the other one when you started Brutal, and I don't want to veer too off. Like, not have, like, all these crazy abilities on my, uh... on my Spear of a Dune before you guys fucking see it, so let's travel there. of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. Got some more conversations. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Ayr when we were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. All this time... This wretched little world was within striking distance of our fleets. Much has changed since your era, Preserver. First you consort with those Terrans, and now the Fallen Ones? It is heresy. You must know this. The Dark Templar are now our allies. There was a time when the Protoss were broken. Throughout the Aeon of Strife, we tore at each other with wanton abandon. Only one path was ever found to end the madness and unify our people. The Kala. The Dark Ones rejected its light. They denied their own race. How can you fight for them? For one so sworn to preserve our history, Rohana, how can you be so blind to its turn? I... I see I have offended you, Hierarch. My apologies. Adapting to this period is... Difficult. I've been trying to isolate the major population centers in need of evacuation. The Zerg signatures far outnumber those of the Protoss, but most of the survivors seem to have gathered within Talametros. There must be Nerezim Fazemiths you know among them, those who stayed behind. I am not seeing any Protoss life signs from within the engineering base, Hierarch. Then they have met their fate. 
Or perhaps they fought their way to safety. The Dark Templar do not follow our caste system. Some of their faith smiths are trained warriors, skilled as any of ours. That does give them an advantage I had not realized. But then, our people are very different. Of course, Hierarch. Fucking liberal Protoss. Alright guys. Next time we'll uh, do the mission, so thanks for watching, take care, goodbye.